Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we got a glimpse of the file-based routing feature in Next.js. We learned that the page.tsx file within the app folder corresponds to the domain root and page.tsx files within the subfolders are associated with routes based on their folder names such as about and profile. In this video, let's dive into working with nested routes. Scenario number three requires us to render a page when the user navigates to the URL localhost port 3000 slash blog. Additionally, we need to render a page for localhost 3000 slash blog slash first and another route for localhost 3000 slash blog slash second. Let's see how we can achieve this using the app router. To begin, let's create a new folder called blog within the app folder. Within the block folder, we'll create a page.tsx file where we will define and export a React component. Export default function blog and we return an h1 my blog. After saving the file, let's head back to the browser and navigate to localhost 3000 slash blog. As expected, we should now see the blog page. This completes the first part of scenario three. However, the question remains, how do we implement slash blog slash first and slash blog slash second as nested routes? Well, Next.js simplifies this process by allowing us to nest folders inside the app folder. Let's create two new folders within app slash blog called first and second. Inside each folder, we will create a page.tsx file and define a simple component to be exported. So new file, page.tsx. We can copy the component code, paste it, and change the component name to first blog and the heading to first blog post. We can now create another page.tsx file within the second folder, copy the first blog component code and change occurrences of first to second. Once we have saved both files, let's head back to the browser. Now, when we visit slash blog slash first, we'll see the first blog post page. And when we navigate to slash blog slash second, we will see the second blog post page. Scenario three has been successfully implemented. Here is a visualization of nested routes. We have our root route, our blog route, the first blog post route, and the second blog post route. The key takeaway here is that by creating a nested folder structure, files will automatically be routed in the same way within the URL. In the next video, we will explore dynamic routes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.